it's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm back with another Iceland three for ten pound meal. Or if you want to buy it on its own, it's four pound. This is new from Iceland. It's their takeaway beef in black bean. Goes in the oven, gas mag five, 45 minutes, or a fan assisted oven at 180 degrees. Uh, preheat the oven, which I'm doing right now. Uh, remove out of packaging and pierce the film several times. Place on a baking tape tray near the middle of the oven for 35 minutes. Remove the plastic and then give it another 10 minutes. So we're going to do exactly that. But first of all, I've not seen this meal yet. You've seen it before I do. Let's pull it out and have a look. What I have learned is that if you don't put it on a baking tray, these things kind of like, if it's just on the metal bars, these things like give off a little bit of moisture, these plastic trays. So I do now put it in a baking tray. It's definitely worth it. So, there you go. I've done more than pierce. I've put a massive hole in it. But yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go away now, put this in the oven for 35 minutes, plus a further 10. I might peel the cover off and I'll be back when it's cooked. My goodness me, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm probably doing this review with one eye open. Um, I reviewed an, an Imperial Stout, a wheat beer and a lager whilst this was cooking. So... This is the ideal, I'm going to say this is the ideal food of champions, food of, oh, what are we going to say here? When you've had a bit to drink and you fancy something a bit naughty, beef and black bean from Iceland, happy days. So we got our bowl. Um, I'm going to be as constructive as I possibly can. If you don't feel like you want to watch this review, if you feel that, like I may be not as constructive as I would be if I was sober, then honestly, it, it, it's entirely up to you if you want to carry on watching. But um, let's get this beef and black bean into a bowl. And see what we get. I'm gonna say I did the um, beef stew with the Iceland dumplings a couple of months back and I wasn't very complimentary to Iceland's beef. I thought it was a bit Ropey. I thought it was a bit ropey to say the least. So what I'm hoping What I'm hoping here with this beef in black bean is that The beef is going to be okay The truth is in the tasting this red pepper There's a beef in black bean kind of gravy like sauce Lots of black beans in there, but here's the beef a big pile of steaming beef. Let's get into it. I hope there's no fatty bits. Otherwise, this is going to be a very quick review. Well. Thumbs up. Mm. Oh. The beef is very tender, very tender, quite delicious, actually. Red pepper is nice. Oh, there we go. I never go into a I, I never go into a review negative. I would never do that. But I will go into 
a review with a little bit of caution. The bigger the piece of beef, I'm thinking to myself, blimey, the more I'm going to get into trouble, the more I'm going to hit that fatty layer. But the first piece of beef was fantastic and lovely and tender and quite wonderful, actually. Here we go. Again, this is stewed beef. This beef is so soft, so tender, so lovely. It's really nice. Really, really nice. From being slightly cautious, all of a sudden I'm feeling very optimistic. Very, like, this is great. And actually, I would buy it again. I would buy this again. I can't make beef in black bean. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to pretend to know how to make beef in black bean. But there's one thing I will know. And is. Uh, and that is how to taste it after a few beers. Mm. After a few beers. This beef in black bean from Iceland is spot on. Absolutely spot on. My apologies if I went into this slightly negative. My apologies if if you may have thought that I was just going to come into this review and slate the product completely, but no. There's no there's no slating to be done here. There's no slating. I'm trying to Plenty of black beans, a rich, lovely gravy sauce that has got a tickle of spice to it, but the gravy is rich, lovely and rich and tasty and it's got a creamy mouthfeel to it. Obviously, the, the gravy's been stewed in that beef, so there's bits of beef in the gravy. Lots of red pepper, which we love on the channel. Mm. I'm going to take this as a win, as a win. I must have had, some of you might have watched the video, I did a Beef and Cobblers Iceland video about a month or so ago. The cobblers were nice, the beef was quite fr frankly terrible and I kept this in the freezer for a month or so ever since because I was a little bit nervous to get into it to to think of have I got to go through that whole process again of eating fatty beef but no absolutely absolutely no this is this is quite wonderful this is quite wonderful it really is the last piece of big beef 
It's soft, it's tender. The gravy is rich, but spicy. Not overly spicy. The red pepper is lovely. I mean, it's going down a real tree. Onion and... Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Iceland. Thank you, Iceland. I've only ever been honest in my reviews. I'm honest in the fact that I've had a couple of beers beforehand. I'm honest in the fact that I've not liked previous products from Iceland. I'm honest in the fact that this is flipping brilliant. This is really good. And the best part about this is, if you buy it on its own, it's four pounds. If you buy it as part of a three for 10 deal, it's three pound 33. If you go to your Chinese takeaway, and buy a beef in black bean, it's probably going to cost you in between six or seven pounds to buy. This is nigh on half price, but you have to use your own microwave or oven to cook it. I like it. I really do. I really like it. It's a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.